we are going to be working on my very favorite size of cup, the 24 ounce plump from the Still Magnolia. Make sure you check the description down below for a discount code for you guys. I have already cut out my template on some vinyl and we are just going to take some transfer tape and put that right over the top. Now I am taking my favorite tumbler tool of all time. This is the ultimate tumbler tool from Cami Page Boutique. There will be a link down in the description for you. This will save you so much time on so many designs, but my favorite thing to use it for is a straight edge guide. So I can just take a marker and draw a line. And then when I go to put on any sort of vinyl wrap, it is just straight the very first time without all the guesswork. Now just remove a little bit of the backing from your template and then we are going to place it on the cup where we made that straight line. And then before you actually remove all of the backing, I like to just push it around the tumbler to make sure the top and bottom line up. And then if it does, we're just going to slowly push the vinyl off the backing and apply it to our tumbler. Before you have your template applied all the way around, you're going to want to go right where you began placing the template on and remove a little bit of the transfer tape just so your vinyl doesn't stick to the transfer tape and you have it kind of stuck down there. And then you can, can continue to apply and your template should line up perfectly. Once you have your template applied, remove the rest of that transfer tape and then we are going to go on to glittering. So how I do that is I take some sort of paint, I like chalk paint, and mix in some Mod Podge or glitter glue. Normally I'm not a Mod Podge fan but I couldn't find my glitter glue so it's going to have to do for today. We're going to stir that in and then we are going to remove the section that we would like to glitter. I chose the section around the hearts and then we are going to take our paintbrush and just paint in smallish sections that paint and glue mixture and sprinkle on our glitter while it's still wet. As you glitter down your tumbler, just remember to remove those sections of the template while the glitter glue and paint mixture is still wet. If you let it dry all the way, it can pull up chunks of glitter that has adhered to that part of the template as well. You may have also noticed that I have one heart that I already placed down with pattern vinyl on this tumbler. I just did that because I was working on two templates at the same time and I didn't know what size of heart went to which size of cup. But you can do this either way. You can remove the hearts like this and place the pattern vinyl down after or you can place them down first and then glitter around them. It's just a perfect personal preference. Now moving on to the side pattern of this template, I took some gray paint mixed in with some Mod Podge and I'm just going to remove the sections that I wanted gray and sprinkle on the color Cupid's Arrow. It's one of my new colors. It's like this really dark silver and it is stunning.
I went ahead and did the, the other side the exact same way and then removed my next sections, which is white. And most whites are not 100% opaque. So this right here, I'm taking straight paint, no glue mixed in and painting all the sections white to make sure I have a really beautiful bright base. And then after that is dry, I will go back in with my white paint and a glue mixture and then sprinkle on my glitter. Now I removed the final pieces of our template and I'm going back in with our pink glue and paint mixture and sprinkling on this beautiful soft pink called Let's Kiss. Now we are going to remove the stripes where we are going to be placing pattern vinyl later on. But before we do that, we are going to paint the bottom pink and sprinkle on that Let's Kiss glitter one more time. Now you're going to want to cut out your stripes and your hearts in some sort of a pattern. Um, this is a really cute cheetah pattern that is available in my shop. To select the sections that you would like, which on my design, I chose the three hearts and then the stripes. All I did was ungroup it and select the three hearts. And then for the stripes, I just took my knife tool and sliced out where the stripes are and cut out those stripes as well. Now that is for silhouette. I'm sorry, I don't know anything about Cricut it but that's what I did in my silhouette then we're going to spray seal this tumbler really really well so that glitter doesn't move while we are applying our vinyl Now we are going to add a coat of epoxy and then cut out our offset of our hearts, which does come with this pattern. You'll just need to duplicate it a few times to make three, place the offset around the hearts. And then we are going to just cut some really thin stripes out of the same vinyl and stripe out every section of the sides and the stripes. Once you have your tumbler all striped out, add a layer or two until your cup is completely smooth. And here is our tumbler all finished. I love that it can be a Valentine's theme or generic enough to carry around every day of the week. Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Check the description below for all products used and their links. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and thank you so much for watching.